The Treaty of Versailles 1919 was an embarrassment for Germany. Adolf Hitler was determined to undo this treaty. In 1933, he got absolute power. How did it get so far? My name is Stefan, this is History Hustle, and I'm standing in Berlin, Germany. In this video, I'm going to talk about how Hitler gained power. In 1919, Hitler joins the Deutsche Arbeitspartei, the German Labour Party. Later, this party became part of National Socialistic German Labour Party. Now, you hear the word socialistic, Hitler was everything but socialist. However, he added the word socialistic to his party to address the socialists in his country because socialism was a very popular movement in Germany at that time. Needless to say, he was everything but socialistic. He believed not in equality among the people. Maybe for German people, yes, but definitely not for other people like Roma and Sinti, handicapped people, homosexuals, and above all, the Jewish people. At the beginning of the 20s, Germany, or the Weimar Republic, is in economic despair. There are strikers and what does the German government do? They print extra money to pay the strikers, which led to hyperinflation. The money becomes of no value anymore. Also, the French, who are impatient for their payments, now occupy the Ruhr, the industrial heart of Germany. That same year, 1923, Hitler strikes with a coup, the so-called Via Keller Putsch. In Munich, he tries to get power. However, it fails and Hitler ends up in jail. While being in prison, he writes the book Mein Kampf, which means my struggle. When he is released, he decides not to get power by violence, not by a coup, but this time by democratic elections. He was a talented man when it came down to public speaking. And because of this, he got many followers. 1929, the Great Depression. Germany was in poverty. Countless people lost their jobs and there was huge dissatisfaction about the Weimar Republic government. With his SA, Sturmabteilung, he threatened political opponents like the communists. In 1932, the party of Hitler achieves victory in the election. Hitler becomes Reich's Kanzler. Now from this point on, Hitler did not yet have all the power he wanted. But this changed in 1933. Because then, the Reichstag caught fire and flame. They arrested a Dutch communist, Marinus van der Lubbe, who was later executed. Hitler argued that there was a communist threat, that they wanted to take over Germany, like they did in Russia, for example. The Reichstag fire degree was approved by the German parliament. Where it all came down to was that Hitler got absolute power for a short while to handle this communist threat. However, the short wall became a long 12 years. Communists were prosecuted on a large scale. And in the summer of that year, other political parties got banned. Now Hitler had all the power he wanted. And this would lead to a catastrophic war, also known as the Second World War. That was it for today. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you find it interesting. Subscribe if you have not already. If you have any questions or comments, leave it down below. Thanks for watching and until next time. Time.